the latest around the wide world of tropics. Tropical Weather Bulletin for June 27th. On day 178 of the year, otherwise known as June 27th, 2021, Champi is weakening, however still remains a tropical storm. Enrique is strengthening and is now classified as a hurricane. Over in the Atlantic on day 27 of hurricane season, we've given 95L a 30% chance of formation in five days with a rather large formation area heading all the way to the east coast of Hispaniola. And we've also given a new area of interest to the south of Bermuda, uh, a 10% chance of formation in five days with a formation area extending all the way out to the east coast of Florida. Over in the East Pacific on day 43 of hurricane season, Enrique is now a hurricane uh, on its way to Baja California where uh, impacts are fairly likely at this strength or stronger. Over in the West Pacific, Tropical Storm at Champi is still active. Uh, I believe it has passed the Ogasawara Island chain right now and it will continue to head northward. Over in the North Indian, it's fairly quiet in this part of the uh, world with no named systems or invests active in this part of the world. Jumping into the satellite imagery for the North Atlantic, you can see 95L struggling to survive with its 30% chance in five days. And the new area of interest southwest of Bermuda, uh, which we've given a 10% chance of formation in five days from now. Over in the East Pacific, Enrique is looking quite magnificent for its current strength, a Category 1 uh, system. Currently, it is offshore heading northwestwardly and towards Baja California. Uh, impacts are likely for Baja California. Over in the West Pacific, Champi is also heading northward. However, at some point, or sometime, some point soon, I should clarify, or even now, it will begin to make a northeastern turn after impacting the Ogasawara Island chain. Over in the North Indian, uh, like I mentioned, nothing tropical is happening in this part of the world. However, monsoonal activity is still ongoing, however, it appears to be calming down. The forecast for Hurricane Enrique, it is expected to remain a hurricane, but it will continue strengthening. Uh, it may or may not reach major status, we uh, are unsure right now. It is eventually going to make a northwestward turn towards Baja California, where, as I keep mentioning, uh, impacts at this strength or higher are looking incredibly likely. Over on the other side of the Pacific, Tropical Storm at Champi is also moving northwards or to the northeast, I should clarify. Uh, currently is impacting the Ugasawara Islands. Uh, it is expected to move away from the islands and continue to weaken whilst it makes an eastward curve. Sea surface temperatures, the West Pacific is still incredibly warm with 30 degree temperatures registering east of the Philippines. The North Indian is cooling off due to monsoonal activity, however this monsoonal activity is almost over. The Atlantic is also getting fairly warm, uh, but it, not uh, as fast as the other parts of the world, but it is slowly getting there. Uh, the East Pacific is also uh, getting there pretty slowly. Uh, there is still just a little bit of 30 plus degree temperatures just to Mexico's south coast. And that right now is where Enrique currently is. And Enrique is expected to take advantage of these warm waters. Sea surface temperature anomalies. The East Pacific is still fairly largely below average, however a spot below Mexico, like I mentioned previously, is actually above average. Uh, the North and Central Pacific is still, is still way above average. 
Uh, the Atlantic is mostly above average, especially in the subtropics uh, area. The West Pacific is also warmer than average, with some cool an anomalies uh, to Japan's south coast. And the North Indian is also mostly above average, except for the Western Central Arabian Sea. On this day, on June 27th, 1957, Hurricane Audrey peaked on this day as a Category 3 system as it struck Louisiana at this intensity. And Audrey is also the strongest June hurricane on record. The next storm name in the Atlantic naming list is Danny, then followed by Elsa. Up next in the East Pacific is Felicia, followed by Guillermo. And over in the Central Pacific, we are still waiting on Hone. Over in the West Pacific, the next name on the list is Infa, followed by Sempaka. And over in the North Indian, the next name on the list, which we may not be seeing for quite some time, is Gulab, then followed by Shaheen. Over in the Southern Hemisphere, up next in the Australian region, the next name on the list is Paddy, then followed by Ruby. And over in the Southwest Indian, time is running out for this next name on the list. Uh, the next name will be Kanga, or it may not be if it doesn't form fairly soon. Uh, if it doesn't, it will be on to the next naming list. And finally, next up in the Fiji list is Cody, then followed by Dovi. That's all from me for tonight. We'll see you tomorrow night for another Tropical Weather Bulletin.